stick in this comment um, because I, I don't understand the world we're living in either. Like, I don't understand. People have more sympathy and empathy for the shooter than the people who got shot. People have more empathy for him because he's a white man and they can probably see themselves in him. Meanwhile, we got people of color getting shot every day, getting killed every day, getting stuff happened by the police and nobody feels anything for them. The man is literally monetizing being a school shooter. Do you know how crazy that is? He is monetizing what he did, basically. He got out of jail, only served 15 years. There's people who are in jail for having a little dime bag on them, and they are in jail for 25 years. He did 15, and he tried to unalive people. And now, people have given this man a platform, and people have followed him, and they're in his comments. Some people are supporting him, and they're defending him, and you're the, and he's a shooter, guys. He is a school shooter. What are we doing? What are we doing? As somebody who makes content a lot, a lot of music related content, um, seeing something like that too, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely disheartening. Like we do all this, there's so many creators on here who do great job in putting the work in and they don't get none of the love, <laughs> none of the love. This man who shouldn't have this platform has a whole following and he's basically monetizing trying to unalive people trying to unalive children i don't even understand this world we are living in at this point like and i work at a school i work at a school and th there are times where i'm like yep yeah, i can see it happening and there's nothing anybody would do nobody's gonna care it's gonna be a few uh posts online and then people are gonna move on to the next day but the big thing with me is he is literally giving people the blueprint. <laughs> He's giving them the blueprint on how to sympathize with a shooter now. And it's funny because mental illness is always the excuse when it's a white man shooting something up. It's never the excuse when there is clear examples of people who are going through mental episodes and they are people of color. Mental illness isn't an issue. It's all black people are criminals. But when a white man does it, it's, he needs to get mental health checked out. We need to put money in mental health. The same people who are saying this, mind you, the same people who are saying this are the same people who are actively trying to take money from that. Not, not voting for mental health funding. Those are the same people who are saying, praying for your loss. I honestly don't want to hear anything from certain people if you're following him i don't want to hear anything from you i don't want to hear anything i don't want to hear sorry for your loss i don't hear none of that stuff because you are actively giving money actively supporting somebody who literally tried to unalive children and you're supporting that our justice system this is a clear example of how it benefits white men white people the man did 15 years in jail for trying to kill people so attempted murder he only got 15 years in jail well he did 15 years they gave him 20 years not 25 to life like anybody else who's trying to kill somebody he got 15 years for trying to kill multiple children and i should i should be prepping right now like but it, it, this has been on my mind all day, literally all day. This man has traumatized a whole bunch of people and and now they have to watch him monetize trying to unalive them and they have to watch it. Like I blocked him and I still keep seeing his content and I see the, how he's like saying all other stuff and watch, I'm calling it now. He's going to be on Fox News in, within the week. And he's going to say some right-wing, alt-right talking points. But what world do we live in that we give a platform and we let him monetize being a school shooter? 
This is this is crazy to me.